What's howling, Lobos? Welcome back to La Mesa Live. Today is Wednesday, September 25th. I'm Bailey, and this is my co-anchor, Chloe. Please stand and join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. La Mesa is going to begin a food pantry of our own. The items in need will be posted on our website and Mr. Patterson will be handing out flyers to parents in the loop when possible. The items should be brought in to Mr. Patterson, who is located in room 307. Students, the administration would like to remind you not to run down the hill at Mayway either before or after school. There is a lot of traffic and other people walking on the sidewalks, and we would like you to avoid injuring yourself or others. <coughs> Lobos, as you know, we are in Hell Month. This week is Works Hard Week. Lobos, make sure you work hard and earn Hell tickets from your teachers. If you want to earn some more community service hours at La Mesa, you can help serve in the valet this Thursday morning. Meet Mrs. Burleson in front of the office at a.m. to receive your sweet orange stylish vest and help greet our La Mesa families. The second opportunity would be to make cards for cancer patients. We are teaming up with Send a Smile Today, nonprofit, and sending them homemade cards. See Mrs. Burleson after school in room 513 from 315 to 415 p.m. and bring your own cardstock paper. Are you a Dodgers fan? How about a Lakers fan? Maybe you're a Patriots fan. Whatever you may be, make sure to represent your team this Friday for Sports Day. Wear your best sports gear and earn points for your team by reporting to ASB during brunch and lunch to earn spirit points for your team. We are in the second week of Latino Heritage Month. Check out on campus the profiles of important Latino figures that have made a positive impact on the Latino community. <clears throat> the library is closed at brunch today. Please plan to take care of your library business at lunch or after school. During Banned Books Week, we remember that words have power and that you should have the right to choose what you read. Every year, that right is challenged at schools and libraries all over our country. So read The Absolutely True Diary of Part-Time Indian, one of the most challenged books of 2018, and celebrate your freedom to make your own reading choices. Remember, censorship leaves us in the dark, so leave the light on and read. The Golden Valley Dance Team is holding a fundraiser and La Mesa teachers and staff are invited to attend. It's called the Mom and Pop Hip Hop, Hip -hop Class. Tomorrow, September 26th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the GV Dance Room. It is only $10 and it will be beginner friendly with all proceeds benefiting the Golden Valley Dance Team. Almost all of the dancers are from La Mesa and they would love to see you there. This is adult only, so it's a great chance to get a workout and learn a fin fun dance routine while helping out G GV's amazing team. Today in history, on September 25, 1981, Sandra Day O'Connor became the first female Supreme Court Justice in history. Today is also the birthday of television and movie actor Donald Glover. He is 36 years old. The word of the day for today is tutorial. It is a noun. The definition is a specifically designed instructional program, a step-by-step -step lesson. A sample sentence would be, the tutelage that she provided was better than a tutorial, but deep down his intuition told him that the knowledge wouldn't last. Something you should know about today. Today is National Comic Book Day. The earliest comic strips, which later gave birth to comic books, 
had dialogue displayed in bubbles or balloons above characters' heads. Over time, the storylines began to distinguish eras, artists, genres, and themes. People who collect comic books are known as panopictographists. The term comic book comes from the first book sold as the reprinted of humorous comic strips. Despite their name, comic books are not all humorous in tone and feature stories in all genres. Well, that's our show. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow. For Bailey and the entire crew of La Mesa Live, I'm Chloe. Have a wonderfully weird Wednesday.